Hello and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4. Um, I did an intro to this series uh, a little bit ago, um, so you can check out the intro video if you haven't seen that yet. Um, basically just sort of described what we were going to be doing playing as China. Um, I took some time sort of off camera to organize everything just because that's sort of the boring part of this game. Um, so I've got everything organized, we've got some research going. Um, organized our trade. We're importing some steel. Uh, we got some civilian factories queued up. Got our production lines going. We're basically just focusing on infantry equipment, some convoys. Um, we have one division in recruitment right now. He's going to come. Uh, he's going to join this army here in the capital. Just kind of chill. And uh, we are. <clears throat> Again, focusing on that infantry equipment because we've got 9,000, almost 10,000 uh, unit shortage there. Um, so that is sort of how we started out. Um, our naval units, uh, all seven of them, are parked here in port. And we've got 100 fighters and 15 um, <coughs> tactical bombers. I thought these were close air support. We have got 15 tactical bombers, and they are actually in the capital as well. So, we are all organized and ready to go. I'm going to let the time tick away here. Uh, as far as research goes, we started with um, engineering, and we've got machine tools here. Um, we're going to really try to focus on the economy for now. Um, let me change this to uh, where the heck is the save mode oh i have to click that not let's do yearly every day is a little bit much actually we should do monthly to be honest let's do monthly monthly's fine okay all right uh so obviously we're going to be fighting japan at some point um i do have historical focus off so it's possible oh whoops do we complete our convoy what happened <coughs> Were we not set to infinite? Okay. Um, I do have the historical focus off, but almost... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Japan's still going to be attacking. So we're going to try to hold them at this northern border. And we're also going to try to hold the coast. Those are going to be the key points there. Um, in fact, so key that I don't even think I want you guys... Whoops. I don't even want you guys garrisoning this area as much as we just need to garrison the coast. Yeah. Industrial effort is done. That's our focus. Um, so should we go down construction effort? I think so. Um, so yeah, I just want uh, this home army to really garrison the, the coastline for now. Um, this guy's just our training army. That's where our New recruits are going to go. Uh, we're lacking on infantry equipment, of course. Um, we are making up for it. Making up for our shortage of a little bit. So that's good. We're not going to be adding military factories for a little while, unfortunately. At least, you know, we'll, we'll probably get some from our national focus um, in a little bit. But I want to get out of the civilian economy also. Um... We're non-aligned right now. We probably need to decide if we're going to go communist or fascist. <coughs> Unfortunately, this game does not reward you too much for going democratic. Uh, I'm sure if you've watched the videos of other people playing the game, or if you played yourself, you realize democratic's pretty boring. So that just doesn't happen that often. Uh, unless you want to do it on purpose, you know, for something interesting. But really, it's not all that interesting. I should say for something different. But it's just not that interesting because you can't do anything. You can only attack when the war starts. Um, so I don't know. It's just not as much fun. Um, oh, we got Spanish Civil War. So let's see. Spain has broken up into National Spain and Republican Spain. Um, do we want to continue with our research time here? Um, or do we want to move on to support equipment? We also do need to work on a land doctrine. <coughs> um, we are going to probably continue this mass assault doctrine, which makes the most sense. 
Uh, no, let's go to construction. So, just checking out Europe. I was about to say status quo in Europe, except uh, the Spanish Civil War just broke out. So, Republican Spain against Nationalist. Of course, Nationalist gets a lot of support from the Axis, or the soon-to-be Axis of Germany. So, most of the time, National Spain wins. I think it would be fun to do a playthrough as Spain and try to get Republican Spain to win. Um, that might be fun. You can uh, let me know in comments if that sounds interesting. We'll probably go over that way. We're going to be in this China campaign for quite some time, though. Uh, so, if Japan does attack, generally what happens is... Uh, let's see. I believe an event fires about unifying <coughs> China. I don't know if I can go that route. Maybe it's not actually... It may not actually be a... Um, hmm. It might not be a focus that I can actually work towards. Um, but what happens basically is... We got Guanxi down here, and we got Yunnan over here, and I think even Shangxi all join to become one unified China. Uh, oh, the People's Republic of China does join too, I believe. I think they join as well. So we basically have one big China against the Empire of Japan. Now, the nice part about playing China is that manpower is never a problem. You actually have the biggest manpower uh, province in the game, which I believe is this one. Oh no, Hunan province is pretty big. 28 million people live there. That's outrageous. <coughs> so that right now goes to, or equates to 407,000 approval population. There's quite a bit. Oh, that's 25. Hubei is even better. 53. Oh, wow. I was way off. Sichuan province, 53 million. Yeah, that's probably the biggest one. That equates to 700, almost 800,000 in recruitable population. So, yeah. Uh, bottom line, we will not have problems with bodies. We will not have problems with giving those warm bodies weapons. So, we are building... Uh, building up our stockpile which is good um, let's continue down this path here oh, we got basic machine tools as well <clears throat> we're gonna go for concentrated industry um, we're not gonna be under too much air fire this dispersed industry sort of helps with um, factory bomb vulner vulnerability will give you a little protection obviously spreading out your factories makes more sense if you're being bombed we're gonna go with the um, higher output and more concentrated dough I think <coughs> so what is Japan focusing on at the moment Navy primacy okay that's fine go down naval innovations and continue all that um, this one is the one that this is the one that uh, leads to war <clears throat> so when we see this border incident Marco Polo Bridge they could uh, come down this way which obviously I think this gives us an opportunity if we want to be a puppet of Japan um, I don't know why we would want to do that or uh, we go to war or they pick this one and they actually just attack us and go to war. They get the uh, conquest. I guess they get a Cassus Belly to attack us. Is it is it called a Cassus Belly? It's called a um, what is it called? <coughs> I guess it's a warble. We can justify a warble. So little EU um, crossover there. <laughs> Cassus Belly. It's the same thing. Purpose for war, basically. Alright, so we could change our recruitable population to limited conscription up to, you know, a whole percentage. Um, I don't 
think we're gonna worry about that just yet. We've got plenty of manpower and we don't have anything to do. We don't have any we can't give them any um we don't have enough weapons. So that'd be silly. Um I do I should probably pause while I talk about this for a second. Uh well that's not true. We're still building up We're still building up political power, so it's fine. <coughs> I don't want to go to free trade. Um or do I? We don't have very many resources. We might as well trade them all but and get more output. But does the increase... The speed is nice. Construction speed and research time. See, this is almost... I'm always... I'm always a little... Uh, well, let's see. Let's get our next resource gain. No, we don't have enough resources to make it worth it. Um, now maybe we'll start looking at weapons. Let's try to get our at least next level of weapons, because that's really what we're going to focus on. So, I'm always wondering when it makes sense to do free trade. Um, if you have a lot of resources, I guess it makes sense, but what if you only have a little bit? Like, we only have a few resources. Would it make sense, you know, 80% of this small amount is not really... It's not going to matter because we don't have that much. What if we go to here to get the added research time and construction speed and obviously we'll get higher factory output as well. If we go limited, <clears throat> we retain more of our resources, but we don't have that many resources. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if trading the factories is worth the extra output. It's probably not. We probably should try to keep all our resources, but it makes it interesting to think about at least. Uh, Italy took Ethiopia. Uh, so, there's that. Let's check on the war. It's not... It's okay. It looks like Republic and Spain's definitely getting the worst end of it here. It looks like most of the battles are in their territory. So, point being, I think we're going to hold off on that stuff for now. I would like to go... Thank you. I'd like to go Captain of Industry, I believe. Construction speed. <coughs> um, or construction research time. Let's go here first. Civilian infrastructure. Yeah, let's do that. Um, soon, though, we're going to probably want to pick... Uh, we're probably going to want to set a focus, or sorry, we're probably going to hire a political guy to change our ideology away from non-aligned, eventually. More than likely, our first war is going to be because we are attacked, so it doesn't matter what we are. Um, should we keep going industry? Um, eventually, we'll need to go army. Political... Um, Political effort is interesting. <coughs> Let's see, if we go down this way. We'll go away from democracy or we'll go towards trade deal opinion, which is silly. Um... We could go this way. <coughs> it seems like it makes more sense to go this way. And then go towards fascism for the military perks. Although the national unity is nice. <coughs> Either way, we're probably not going to be going towards democratic. I just don't think that will happen. Although this 10% national unity is nice, but... So, uh, political effort, or let's continue a little bit more on industrial. And uh, pretty soon... Alright, so we got our industry guy. I think one of the next ones we're going to have to decide if we want to do fascist... We actually don't have a communist guy. Interesting. 
Spain, how you doing? You holding up? Not really. I don't think I can do anything. I can't... I can't help you anyway. I can't send anything. You have to be a... Uh, to send volunteers, world tension needs to be at 40%. In my case. Or you have to be... Fascist. And world tension is currently at zero. Actually, world tension is at 0.7. Because the Soviet Union sent volunteers. Interesting. <coughs> Wait. Olympic Games in Germany? Ah, uh, wait. The Soviet Union... Are they the ones that sent... Really? Can I see that somewhere? Yeah, they sent volunteers to help Republican Spain. Did Germany not send any? Oh yeah, they did. They sent volunteers. Okay. So the Soviets are helping... Republican. It's still not going well. Is there a way to see progress of wars? Other wars? Um, in, in diplomacy? Country list? Probably not. I guess there isn't. There should be somewhere, shouldn't there? Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. <coughs> Seven percent in favor of National Spain. They've lost forty-four thousand troops already. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. All right, back home. Uh, let's look at our recruitment. Nice. We have all our. Equipment. Uh, do we have enough equipment? Yeah, we do. Let's add some more lines of production. Enough equipment, enough equipment. All right. Let's go to 10. So this shows that we have enough equipment. We need 6,000 manpower, which obviously we have, and we need 600 equipment. This is the training that they go through. So I could deploy them before they are trained and they'll be like green and they won't have any experience. Or I could get them to be like a regular troop. Once they're done here, they'll deploy automatically to go there. So this is what we're training, the infantry. <clears throat> this is the infantry division template that we're training right now. No support weapons. We haven't even researched any of them. Um, and we've got basically a six, uh, what do you want to call these? Battalions? <coughs> or is this one thing, this whole thing a battalion? I'm not, I'm not sure the correct lingo. Oh yeah, add a battalion. So we've got six infantry battalions right now. Here's their stats. If you add more, it takes uh, experience. If you add more, obviously you'll change some of these stats, usually increasing it except for... Um, You'll increase the width, and you'll um, increase the you know, supply usage and weight and things like that. Um, <clears throat> okay, we have our first event here. Preparing for preparing. Wait, preparing attack against communists. That doesn't seem like it's a grammatically correct sentence. Oh, puppies are upset about something. It's currently unclear whether the Red Army is recuperating or ready to face us in battle, but time is not on our side. Alright, so, we could strong arm local warlords into an offensive. We'll get a 70% chance of uh, political power, 30% chance of losing a little bit of political power, um, and if the PRC, that's the People's Republic of China, if they retreat, we get 100 political power. This one is 50-50, but uh, consequences are a little bit dampered. Only 100 political power at risk, 50 at risk, or even smaller. So basically, it's bigger risk. I think we're going to go with this one. 70% chance. That's pretty good. Let's try it. Let's strong on those warlords. 
Oh, I don't think we got anything. Oh, yeah, we did. Nice. Defeated against Kuomintang. Kuomintang. We lost some manpower, which who cares, but we got a lot of political power. Sweet. Okay, wait. Let's get out of this. Um, how far do we want to go with our infrastructure? Do we want to keep going? Do we want to add military factories? Let's keep going with infrastructure for now. Let's do it. Uh, political power. We can add some now. Um, do we want to go with industry research time? Do we want to go with uh, army experience? That's a good one to have. Do we want to go with fascism? Well, we don't need fascism right now because we're not going to be attacking anyone anytime soon. These things are good to have once we start attacking people. We got to get the the basics down. So probably research time would be nice. Um, <coughs> political power is interesting as well. Do we want to do equipment research down? Industrial research time. So it's industrial research time. Or this for land doctrine. Hmm. That would be a good one. Well, I think we're just going to go with the industry research time. We actually have enough to do another one? Sure do. Um... Well, our, for our second one, let's do weapons and research. <coughs> We're not going to be doing a whole lot of weapons research after this one, to be honest, so that's not a good one to pick. Um, um, let's, go, let's go military theorists this time. All right, good. Oh, we're staring at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, so France, or sorry, uh, France is doing nothing. Uh, Spain is still in the Civil War, and Republican Spain looks like they're getting their butts kicked. That's a shame. We do have some new divisions. We got two new divisions. Here's the trained level I was telling you about. So uh, it's just a base zero modifier. If they get some experience, they'll go up 25% to regular. Uh, if they came out not trained, they would be... Uh, I think under maybe minus 25% forget exactly what the modifier is there we are building up stockpile weapons that's awesome we got 10 units in training <clears throat> I'm sorry we only have nine units in training right now we have 10 I wanted 10 if we get some army experience which we will build up a little bit now uh, oh, I know what we should be doing. We should be training. <coughs> let's get uh, let's get all these guys to exercise. Oh yeah, here we go. Minus twenty five percent. This is a green unit. Let's get these guys to exercise. Uh, how do we do that again? Here we go. We're going to consume some um, equipment, but we're going to build up we're going to build up some experience. Let's see what this changes to. We're losing three a day. <coughs> Does it show us how many we're losing to exercise? I don't know that it does. I'm just curious. But we're still getting plus. Maybe it's in this balance. Oh, we got our new one. Okay. <clears throat> and we got concentrated infantry. Or concentrated industry. Alright, so we're a little bit behind on this one, 1937. We may go ahead and do it anyways, though. Um, or do we need the research? We're not, honestly, not that into the research. I think we probably need to start our first doctrine, to be honest. And then... The other one we're going to do is 
<coughs> support weapons? Possibly. Possibly, possibly. Or support equipment. We should probably do support equipment. We're going to need that on our divisions. Alright. Uh, we're going to change this to the new infantry equipment. We're obviously well behind now. Um, not overall, but well behind in replacing all of the old equipment. But that's okay. We're going to exercise you guys as well. Alright, so everyone's exercising. We're going to build up some experience, which is sweet. Good. Um, we've got plenty of... I'm actually going to adjust this. We're just down on one steel. How much is that hurting us? See, it's only hurting us in the convoys, and I don't give a crap about that right now. So that's fine. We're going to allow that to continue, and we're going to get the use out of all our factories. <coughs> wonder if we should build some more civilian factories now that we added some infrastructure. We added some there. Get rid of this one. No. <coughs> you get more... Um, you get a better bonus if you're building in these higher, inf you know, these higher infrastructure provinces get built quicker. So obviously we want to build our civilian factories in those. We don't want to build them there. All right, cool. So we're building in the better provinces. That's great. I think after we do those ones, we should probably build um, infrastructure effort. Oh, geez, hold on. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union. That's uh, a lot of good generals gone from World War One. Okay, uh, let's let's queue up some military factories here. We're gonna probably fill you, fill you, fill you, fill you. <clears throat> Tons of military factories. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, national focus. We could get an extra research slot, or we could start getting military factories. Um, I think we may actually try to get this research slot. Now that we're at the doorstep of it, we might as well carry through with that. Cool. Right, uh, so we are off to a good start here. No inklings of war with Japan just yet. Uh, they're doing warrior traditions. Where the heck is that? That's way over there. So, they're not looking towards the Chinese border incident yet, which is great. That'll keep us safe a little while longer. Uh, Republic and Spain still putting up a fight. Otherwise, there are really no issues in the world. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, Germany occupied the Rhineland. So, there's that. Whoop, the Xi'an incident. External pressure from the Soviet Union for the end of hostilities between us and the Chinese Red Army have led to our people led two people in our ranks taking matters in their own hands. Okay. So there'll be no cooperation or we could contact contact the Communist Party for peace talks. Nationalists offer truce. Hmm. I don't really know which way we should go. Two generals have been arrested attempting to force a truce between us and the Communists to unite China against external threats. Yeah, well, let's try to do peace talks. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe we can unite early. Um, all right, so Republican Spain's putting up a fight. <coughs> Truce. All right. So we got uh, a People's Republic of China opinion plus 100. Okay, so you like us. Not really. It doesn't say that you like us. Or we like you, maybe. I don't know. Something. Alright. Uh, well, now's probably a good time to stop this episode. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, any feedback you have. Uh, questions about this as it's a new game on the channel. Otherwise, uh, hit the like button. Hit the like button if you are enjoying it, and I will keep more of these episodes coming. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.